So the question is this, is the fact that you're using so many of your DAW stock plugins, the reason why your mixes just don't sound professional and like your favorite albums? Let's discuss. So without any further ado, I'm going to jump right into the topic of today's video. Again, the question is this, are stock plugins good enough? Better yet, are they actually hurting the sound of your mixes? Now, right here, I have a session within Reaper, which is a $60 DAW, and I'm using only, let me repeat, only the stock plugins that come with Reaper nothing else. And with that being said, let's listen to the mix that I've thrown together within Reaper, again using only stock plugins. No third-party plugins at all. Let's hear this mix. Okay, I don't know what you think, but to me, that's a pretty decent sounding mix. I'd be completely comfortable sending this to a band as a final mix that a client would hire me to mix for their band. And again, I'm using nothing but Reaper, which is a $60 DAW and only using its stock plugins. So the question is this, why do so many people obsess over plugins and buying new gear when they don't even know how to use the gear that they already have? Again, remember, you could achieve this sound with $60 if you knew the ins and outs of mixing. And more specifically, what elements of mixing to focus in on? And let's talk a little bit about that. How am I achieving this mix with stock plugins? Very simple, basic, straightforward, functional, simple EQ and compression moves. Now on the topic of this, I want you to achieve better results with the gear that you already have. I don't care if you're using Reaper, Studio One, Pro Tools, it doesn't matter. It all comes down to how you understand or how well you understand EQ and compression. And because of this, I'm offering direct access absolutely free to my crisp and clear heavy mix formula. The heavy mix formula includes three components. An EQ and compression cheat sheet that has all of my starting points for all of the main instruments within a heavy production. Within the PDF file, there are clickable links to individual private tutorials, again, for each of the individual instruments within typical metal productions. And each of these tutorials comes with a multi-track download that you could download so you can mix along with me. If you feel like you're lacking knowledge as far as EQ and compression is concerned, this download is for you. You can have direct access for absolutely free right now by clicking the link below. So now again, let's talk about this mix here. The reason why this mix sounds so decent, again, comes down to my EQ and compression technique. Now, as far as EQ, we'll talk about that first. If you notice here, I'm using a lot of filtering, a lot of high and low pass filters. When people start out with mixing, they tend to spend a lot of money on plugins that they don't know how to use, and they start boosting and cutting and doing extreme moves that are just not necessary. But most of the sound you're hearing here comes from low and high cut filters to make room in the low end and top end. Super important. And also, I'm just using the stock compressor in Reaper to help glue the sound of my mix together and also to add character and punch to my individual elements. You do not need expensive compressors that model analog hardware. Yes, now don't get me wrong, I do buy plugins. I have a huge, huge library of plugins. And to be honest with you, I only really use 5% of the plugins that I've bought throughout my career. And that is not an exaggeration. I tend to stick with the ones that I know because they enable me to produce the results that I want without having to overthink things. Another thing to keep in mind is this, before plugins ever existed, when mixers would work in their studios, they'd be mixing on the same console 
for years, sometimes even decades. And what do you think happens to someone that works on the same console for decades? They know the ins and outs of their console and they know how to use it by the back of their hand. They don't even have to think about how to use it. They're in a constant state of flow. And that's what's most important regardless of the DAW you're using or regardless of the plugins that you're using. It's how you use the tools, not the tools themselves. And in my opinion, this mix proves it. Now, for example, I get emails and questions all the time from subscribers how they should be mixing their guitar tracks. People seem to think there's some magical formula for mixing guitars, when in reality, it really isn't that complicated. Let's actually listen to these rhythm guitars. Okay, in my opinion, that is a decent rhythm guitar mix. And all I'm doing here is using the stock EQ in Reaper, rolling off all frequencies below 55 Hertz, all frequencies above around 10-ish K, pulling out some of the lower mids, and my guitars are ready to roll. No expensive plugins necessary, all stock plugins. Another thing that people seem to struggle with are drum tracks, right? So if I were to solo my drums, let's take a listen to these drums again in solo and hear just how well these stock EQs and compressors are doing with these raw drum tracks that mind you were recorded in a project studio, not in a pro studio. Let's check it out. There you go, everything is super clear, everything is crisp, and I'm not using any fancy tools. I'm accomplishing this mix technically with $60 worth of gear. And by the way, this was mixed on IK Multimedia micro monitors in an untreated room. So tell me, I'd love to know, do you kind of feel sometimes held back by your equipment? More specifically, do you feel held back by the fact that you're mainly using stock plugins? Let me know by leaving a comment in the comment section below and tell me about what's challenging you. I'd love to hear your opinion. If you found this video helpful, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And do not forget to click the little bell icon so you can be notified every time I upload one of weekly videos on all things metal and rock production. If you're interested in some Frightbox swag, I've got t-shirts, mugs, and a ton of other cool stuff on the way. There's a link below to the Frightbox merch store in this video's description. And again, if you'd like to up your compression and EQ game regardless of the tools that you're using, you could have direct instant access to my free crisp and clear heavy mix formula. You get a mixing cheat sheet, private tutorials for each of the main instruments within a heavy production, along with multi-track downloads that accompany each of the tutorials so you can mix along with me. Click the link below and you could have instant access for absolutely free right now. And until next time, happy mixing. <laughs>